Les Moonves came to me, I guess around 1999, and said, why aren't you doing television? And I said, well, I did it. I said, and frankly, I got away with it. <laughs> and I, you know, I, I don't want to screw that up. <laughs> People think I was good at it, and I, you know, I don't want to prove them wrong. And he said, I'd love to have you on CBS. He had just come to run CBS. He said, and I'll do whatever you write. And I thought, that, that sort of startled me. And I'd been kicking around this idea of, I've always been very taken with damn Yankees, with the, the notion of damn Yankees about this man, this middle-aged man who's sitting at home watching baseball games and thinking, man, if I was young again, maybe I could get into this game and, and make, I want to say it's Seattle, uh, a real team and blah, 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 blah. And he actually gets his wish. The devil grants him his wish and he becomes this, this incredibly athletic, beautiful young man and he becomes a, a successful baseball player, and he spends the entire experience yearning for his wife and his family. And I, and I always liked that and started toying with that idea. And out of that grew the show Now and Again, which I did for CBS, which we did. We did for one season. It was actually, I mean, again, I thought, I think part of what confounded people was they looked at it and went, what is this? because um, it had elements, I didn't even know it was a science fiction show until at the end of the run I got a call saying you have to go to Los Angeles, we shot the show in New York. I said you have to go to Los Angeles and pick up a Saturn award and I said what's a Saturn award? And they said oh, it's a sci-fi award, best show of the year and I went but we're not sci, and they went yeah you are. And uh, it, but it was so many different genres, it had humor, it had tragedy um, and again, I'm, you know, I'm quite proud of it. And, um, I began my association in television with Ron Schwery, who's done everything I've done since then. Ron um, is, a, again, a great physical producer. He's the guy who produced, he's produced a ton of great movies. He produced Tootsie. He produced, uh, basically produced two thirds of the Sidney Pollock movies, two thirds of the Robert Redford movies, um, a bunch of movies that Streisand did, then produced for Marty Brest for a while. He's just a great producer. And he came and did the show with me, and that began our association, and he's done everything I've done since in television. Um, and we did it for a year, and it, and it was, you know, and still people come up to me and go, when's that coming out on DVD? They seem to be fascinated by it. Um, for me, the great challenge was, A, can you actually do 22? I had never done 22 episodes of anything in a season in my life. And Les made it very clear that I'll do whatever you write, but you have to play by the rules on this. You know, it can't be moonlighting again. So I was determined to do 22, and I was determined to do it in New York. I really wanted to do a show in New York and prove that that could be done. So we did a season, and then they pulled the plug. And that was disheartening, because the show was actually, I thought the show was quite good. No one gives you a reason, and I think there may have been some... It was during that period where Viacom bought Paramount and there was a lot of juggling going on and jostling and I think there may have been some political things going on behind the scenes. I don't know. But uh, the point is that uh, we weren't invited back to the dance.